so we're really excited to be here again at the, the Salisbury Racecourse. Uh, we've got over a hundred stalls this year, um, selling everything from gourmet food, to clothes, um, jewellery, homeware, and lots of gadgets. I mean, there's something for everyone, really. They are Loxton uh, do great um, vodka and gin. Uh, Pinkster Gin is good as well. Um, Pinkster is, uh, we've been going for 10 years. It was started by my brother um, 10 years ago. He created a gin made with fresh raspberries and it, it's a lovely pink gin. So it was one of the first, well, it was the first pink gin on the market. Um, and then we started using all the raspberries. So we make a jam, we have the boozy berries. We now make a spritz, which is sort of low alcohol. Um, and you have it with the soda water. We make a royale, which goes into champagne and prosecco. So every single raspberry is used, nothing is wasted. So it's a very sustainable company. And what else? We have truckle cheese, they're back every year. So some really, lots of favorite stalls, but this year we will, every year we try and keep it fresh. So we have 30% uh, more, um, new stalls. Um, I'm based in Buckinghamshire, but all my family live in Salisbury. Um, so every year I do the Rockbourne Fair and it's lovely to stay with all my family. Um, and these are floating paper cuts. So I cut through cartridge paper, and then behind the cartridge paper are little foam blocks and then the coloured background. So they're very unusual. I've never seen anyone else that does something similar. Each one is completely individual. Um, and I can personalise them at the fair while you wait. They can have a name put on them. Um, or if it's for a dog, your dog can have its name put on them. I do loads of children's ones. So um, they can all be personalised too. Or you can buy them just as they are. I do most of my Christmas shopping here. Um, there's a lovely buzz and a lovely feel to it. Um, they make it really easy, the access for everybody. Uh, very friendly crew and there's so much variety here. There's always something different every year. I've got already gone shopping today. <laughs> I bought these really cute little lamps um, and they are going to be great little gifts for the kids. Uh, I'm here representing our brand Bunny and the Dude and we're selling um, fun, Gifts for hard to buy for people. Fun gifts that are a bit unique and uh, not necessarily easy to find on the high street. Some of the products have literally just arrived in the country. Um, so we're always trying to find something a bit more unique and something that's sort of on trend. We're Christmas, so uh, we bring Christmas to any charity fair or Christmas market. So we mouth blow, hand blow and glass Christmas ornaments. And um, we sell through Harrods and all the department stores in London and all the Christmas shops, but then we sell wholesale through all our um, fairs and um, so forth. So you can buy them individually. You can buy them a gift box like this, but they're a really nice quality glass. They're nice and light and they just, uh, being glass, they shine on the Christmas tree so we do classic Victorian round baubles and ornaments and then we have a lot of fun novelty shapes as well so uh, reindeers and um, frogs and all sorts of different things. I think my favourite thing I quite like the pyjamas because they're very unusual and I think it's gonna be a cold winter so we probably all need to be thinking about that yeah. We're called Herringbone and Platt and we pride ourselves on selling all natural fibres so wool, cashmere, um, all different types of wool, Shetland wool, merino wool, um, lamb's wool, British lamb's wool. All of our products are from the UK, apart from our cotton and our Nepalese cashmere, which we had made in Nepal to our own design. So we're very proud of these because they're new, they're huge, they're big, lovely big wraps, two meters long, perfect for the winter weather. Turn your heating down and wrap yourself up in a blanket. Um, we are hoping to build on the success of last year where we raised over £50,000 for the Stars Appeal because all our profits go to Stars Appeal, uh, the Salisbury District Hospitals charity. And they aim to raise about a million pounds a year, so we, uh, we're pleased to be part of that.